Hey there everyone, welcome to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about a few really important timeline settings that you should be aware of. Now this is really important and it is very much possible that you might have already ignored these settings because they are a little hidden. Now to showcase what I'm talking about, I would first like to import the media. So here is the video clip that I would like to import. The video clip is imported right away. Now I would like to move over to the edit tab and I would right click this clip and will select create new timeline using selected clips. Now it is going to ask me about the timeline settings here. Now by default use project settings and use selected media is checked. I would simply create this timeline and once the timeline is created I would head over to this cog wheel here. It is a settings tab and these are all the settings that you would like to tune in. Now there is not a lot that I would like to do here because most of the settings are going to be just the way your video file is uh, like uh, 1920 by 1080 is the resolution of this video 50 fps was the frame rate at which it was shot and this is the video monitoring tab this is this window and uh, here you don't need to change anything just leave it as it is and for data levels you can select full also this is going to give you a high bitrate playback i guess and you can simply hit save but in case you have imported a 4k media here and it is very much possible that once you select create new timeline it might not create a 4k timeline if that is the case you can simply uh, just undo this press ctrl z to undo and simply go to this cog wheel here and then dial in all the settings according to the video specifications like in my case suppose this is a 4k video i'm going to dial in uh, 3840 by 2160 so this is going to be the resolution of a 4k file and i'm going to select the frame rate in my case it is generally 25 frames because my a6400 never shoots anything over 25 frames so i have selected 25 frames playback frame rate is also going to be 25 and here in the video format just simply scroll down and select 4k 2160p at 25 fps then choose full data levels and simply hit save and click change now if you're going to import anything to this timeline all that is going to be applied and your video is going to play in full resolution all the data level is also going to be present in its full glory so this was a little tips video that i wanted to share on the timeline settings in davinci resolve if you are new here please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and if you have any questions or queries please feel free to mention them down in the comment section thank you very much for tuning in make sure to subscribe and i'm going to talk to you in the next one